Section 1.8, it is about complex numbers. Let's start with the definition. The imaginary unit I, it's defined as I equals square root of negative one or I square equals negative one for any real number that is positive, like A is greater than zero. Then we have square root of negative A in a form of I times square root A. A complex number is defined in the notation form as A plus BI, where A is called the real part and B is called the imaginary part. If A is zero, then the A plus BI is just the BI term and is called the pure imaginary number. For an example, we're going to simplify the given expressions. The first one is the product of square root of negative 20 and on square root of negative 5. Note that we saw the definition as if a is greater than 0, square root of negative a is i times square root a. So we start with rewriting square root of negative 20 and square root of negative five in the imaginary form. Then we get the first one as square root of 20 multiplied by i. You can write i in the front or in the back, it doesn't matter as long as i is not in the radical form. And then multiply by, maybe write it in the form that i in the front as the same format. Let me i times square root of 20, and the second term becomes i times square root of 5. And then we can rewrite it as i times i or i squared multiplied by square root 20 times square root 5. By definition of the imaginary number, since i is square root of negative 1, so i squared is negative 1. Therefore, the I square will be replaced with the value negative one, where square root of 20 times square root of five can be written in the form of the radical of 20 times five. Simplify further, we have negative one multiplied by square root of 100, and square root 100 simplified to be just 10. So we obtain the value as negative one multiplied by 10 or negative 10 for this example. For this example, we are going to simplify i to the power 2022. Recall the definition of the i, which is the square root of negative one i square is negative one. If you keep raising the power of the i to get i to the third, which is the same as i to the first times i to the second, or i times negative one turns out to be a negative i. Another power, like i to the fourth, which is i to the second times i to the second, or negative one times negative one turns out to be one. i to the fifth, is i to the first times i to the fourth, which is the same as i because i to the fourth equals one. Let's try a couple more to see the pattern of the i to the power. For i to the sixth is i to the second times i to the fourth, turns out to be the same as i to the second, which is negative one. i to the seven is i to the third times i to the fourth or i to the third which is negative i, i to the eighth equals i to the fourth times i to the fourth or one times one times one or turns out to be one. We have the repeating pattern as i to the first is the same as i to the fifth, i to the second, the same as i to the sixth, i to the third, the same as i to the seventh, and i to the fourth is the same as i to the eighth, and it's gonna be the same pattern for the rest of the integers. 
Therefore, we can summarize it as um, for i raised to the power one plus multiple of four. I'm gonna put in different colors here. So like this, i, which is the same as i to the power one times i to the power multiple of the four. I to the second is the same as I to the second times I to the multiple of four. I to the third is the same as I to the third times I to the multiple of four. I to the fourth is the same as I to the multiple of four. And when you multiply the same base, we just add the power. That means I to the first times i to the 4m is the same as i to the 1 plus 4m. i to the second is the same way, i to the second plus 4m. And i to the third is the same as i to the third plus 4m. m means any integer, so 4m represents the, the multiple of the four. And then from this pattern, we can use to simplify the expression in part B as i to the power 2022. So to simplify the expression i to the power 2022, so we're gonna find out um, the form of 2022 as the multiple of four plus remaining. And you can do different way. One of the way is to do the reducing form, uh, reducing the numbers. So let's try to do this way. So for the number 2022, if we divide by four, four will go to 25 times and go to the two zero time and then 22 like five times and then has a remainder two. That means 2022 can be rewritten as four multiplied by 5,005 plus the remaining two. That means for i to the power 2,022 is the same as i to the power four times 505 plus, uh, not plus, sorry, multiplied by i to the power second, because when you multiply, you just add the power together. And since the form of i to the power of multiple of four equals i to the fourth, which is one, that means i to the 2022 will be the same as i to the second, which is the value negative one. 